Hello and welcome back to your Always the Boy. Now on this one, today I've got a McAllister uh, chainsaw in. Uh, the people that own it, they pulled it too hard to start it and they've snapped the cord on it and uh, it needs changing and putting the handle back on. So let's go and have a look. <laughs> Right, so what they've done is the cord is inside there and they've, they've pulled it too tight or it may have even just snapped and just broke off of the, of the handle it's gone in. Hopefully I haven't got to respring it and it's just a case of getting the case off, pulling the cord and repairing it. If it has snapped, and then I will have to repair the, um, the put a new pull cord in as well. So this has three T25 torque screws easy using with power tools and I also bought these torque bits which are very very good so this uh, bring this off slowly because I don't want it to spring out on me bring it out nice and slow there's actually one more screw which is just here we'll leave that one over there so we know that one goes back into that one okay so everything is in here so as you can see it has snapped uh, this cable is worn so I, I think I will uh, replace it right so what I've done is I've threaded that through there and so what I'm going to do is pull that all the way through onto there so you, you make sure that the wedding knot is just there and uh, it matches where it goes into there so what I'm going to do to stop that from coming out is um, getting myself a clamp hopefully that's gonna hold hold that that's it and that is there and then simply all you do is you just pull that out and I'm hoping the cable I have is thin enough actually because this is a slightly thinner cable than the one I have so I'm hoping I can get it through and then you just pull that out right I think I might be struggle with this because this cable is cord I should say is a little bit bigger than in the other one in diameter now I don't have any smaller one to do but it is coming through done it and then all you do is you just put a little knot into here and then pull it back and we've just push that down to the up Doesn't get caught onto the flywheel. That's it. Then simply just take the clamp off, hold it while it's there, and then gently get a bit more cord. 
it go back as as much as it needs I have see, I will take some sack because it only needs to be as much as there and that's all it is you don't you don't need to do it because if I hold that there that's more than enough for a chainsaw okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that forward there and that is all I need and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mark if I can get this pen off that's it I'm just going to mark just there with a pen so I know that is where I'm going to um, have the knot roughly and I'll just pull that out of there just to give myself a bit of room get some forceps just put that onto there and to stop that from pulling back in and that's where I'm having that, the knot so I'm just going to cut it there and I think I need to sharpen these up I think and I know just a man who knows how to sharpen these up now I did have a lighter what I normally do is burn the ends of these but I don't have my lighter handy so I'm just going to push that into there like that pushing that in so it comes out this ain't the normal size the right size handle with this I don't have one so where does where you have the knot I'm just going to do that there just slightly a bit so pull that tight and then because it came off I'm just going to check that's not going to go through by pulling it no that's not going nowhere and I'll just cut off a little bit I wasn't showing you on the camera then. Take the faucets off. And that's done. And that's got more than enough power on that. Now it's probably actually a stronger cable. I mean cooler I should say. Alright so let's put it back together. So put this back. It's just a re re reverse of the way you actually put it on. Just make sure you've got that's it, you got co the connection to it to the flywheel. My dog's going mad. I think she's getting old, that is it, Evans, because every time that what she's doing now, the dog, is every time she hears any car doors. Right, that's not going in, so I need to check that. So, let's just check this one here. We'll put this one in first, just in case there's any problems. So now, that one there should go in. No, it's not. All right, we'll check the other ones. Uh, just in case one screw could be longer than the others. Yes, it was. 
this one actually goes into the oh, what well, simple little mistakes that's it So I'm not going to start it, all I'm going to do is just... So there you have it, how to change the pull cord uh, on a chainsaw, or a particular one, on that one it's a McAllister uh, chainsaw. Uh, most chainsaws are very similar, uh, unless it's got an internal inside one instead. So anyway, that's it, that's all there is on this uh, video. Uh, I haven't really got much more to say, oh yes I have. Um, as you know, uh, last week I had done my 500 sub giveaway. So at the end of this uh, video, I will put a uh, link to my drawer and also um, a video to the clock that I made on my giveaway. So I hope you go and watch those ones as well. So that's all there is on this one. Until next time, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell down the bottom and then you'll be told uh, all my future uh, videos so that's it now from this week cheerio